Good morning and welcome back inside the Veterans Memorial Aquatic Center for Chassa TV's second day coverage of the Class 4A State Diving and Swimming State Championships. Ryan Coffin back with you again. And this morning we will see the best divers in the state of Colorado in Class 4A, 22 of them to be exact. The top three returning finishers from state last year are in this field. We will talk about them in Actually, we'll talk about them right now as these divers are being introduced. The defending state champion is Alexa Beckwith of St. Mary's. That's a high school in Colorado Springs. She won this event last year as a freshman. She is back as a sophomore and will be diving 20th in this preliminary round. The runner-up from last year, Maya Presti, who is now a junior from Fountain Valley, will dive last of the 22 divers and the third place finisher from last year, Aaron Chavit, a junior from Thompson Valley will be diving 18th. So 22 divers in all, they will be diving six times in the preliminary round. And then when we trim the uh, roster, if you will, down to 16 uh, divers, we will have 11 dives later uh, today. Again, the championships in both swimming and diving will begin at 2 o'clock Mountain Time, and you can catch them here on Chassa.tv. For those of you who uh, may have missed any of Chassa TV's coverage of either this, the 4A or the 5A uh, State Swimming and Diving Championships, you missed uh, Missy Franklin, the Olympic hopeful from Regis Jesuit, who uh, broke a national record in the 200 freestyle, nearly broke the 100-yard a backstroke record as well. She'll be uh, competing in a couple of individual events along with a relay later on uh, today. And that uh, coverage up from Epic in Fort Collins is set to begin also at 2 o'clock Mountain Time here on Chassa TV. But here at the 4A last night, it was Broomfield was the story overall. They won quite a few events, uh, including the 200-yard medley relay. Broomfield actually with a couple of very good uh, relay teams yesterday. Individually, the story was Lexi Malas drew it from Evergreen High School. She won a couple of individual events, but now we focus in on diving. And up first will be Rowan Dunn, a sophomore from Conifer. Good uh, first dive there for Dunn. You're going to see a lot of simpler uh, dives in the first round as the divers get warmed up here. Up next will be Haley Schneider from Longmont. Schneider was here last year but didn't make it out of the preliminary round. She finished 20th in the prelims. There was only 16 divers that made it to the finals. So this is Haley Schneider of Longmont. We'll get the uh, scores from the judges on Rowan Dunn. Uh, three eights, three sevens, and a six for Rowan Dunn. Haley Schneider with a difficulty of 1.6 on her first dive. Again, going to go with the fairly rudimentary ones. as uh, she was on the far board there. So I, I suppose the divers get their choice of what board they would like to go off of. So Schneider with a 1.6 difficulty dive on her first try. And uh, looking at the scores here. Scores ranging from six and a half to seven and a half for Haley Schneider. Now coming to the near board, Emma Plentel, a sophomore from Discovery Canyon. Plentel not in the state field last year, so this is her first appearance. So there's Emma Plentel from a sophomore from Discovery Canyon. Her first uh, dive, see what the judges 
have to say for this first time state qualifier in diving. We have more, we have six judges or seven ju judges, excuse me, here. For those of you who follow sw diving during the regular season, know that the schools don't quite have enough money in most times to hire that many judges. So you're going to have a wider range of scores. 26.35 is the uh, total here for Emma Plentil. Now Alyssa Mahali, a senior from Thompson Valley. Good looking dive there for Alyssa Mahali, a senior from Thompson Valley making her first appearance at the state tournament, was not part of the field last year. Let's see what the judges have to say about the senior from Thompson Valley. There are, by the way, three Thompson Valley divers. So Thompson Valley very well represented. Five and a half, seven and a half, six, eight, seven, seven and a half, and seven. 30.1 for Alyssa Mahali, and now it'll be Michaela Eckhart, a senior from Windsor. So Wizard on the far board here, her first dive. So most of these divers with uh, similar dives here to begin. Uh, Eckhart last year as a junior for Windsor placed seventh in the preliminaries and finished sixth in the finals. So she actually got better as the day went on last year. Here she gets seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, six and a half, seven, six and a half, and six and a half. Again for Michaela Eckhart of Windsor. Next will be Bryn Frohenhoff from Dievelin. She is a freshman, so obviously her state diving championship debut, if you will, again on the far board. Probably one of the more difficult dives to begin the day. The freshman making a splash here to begin her day. And we'll see what the judges think of Bryn Frohenhoff, one of the freshmen in today's field. Six and a half, six, six, five, six and a half, five and a half, and six. These scores for Bryn Frohenhoff. Now it'll be Kelly Rather, a senior from Coronado. Rather placed 19th last year in the prelims, did not make it to the finals. Hoping for a different result here this morning. So a back dive there for Kelly Rather, the senior from Coronado, our seventh of 22 divers here. See what the judges have to say about Kelly Rather's first dive. Six and a half, seven, six and a half, six, five and a half, six and a half, and six for Kelly Rather on her first dive. Uh, next will be Katie Valer, a junior from Discovery Canyon who was a finalist last year. She plays 12th as a sophomore, now back as a junior. Her first dive. We'll see what the judges have to say about Katie Valer's first dive, finalist from last year. I have six, 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 six and a half, six, six and a half, and the seventh judge, the most kind there to Valer. 
she gets a seven from the last judge, and now it'll be Larissa Grammer from Montrose. She was a didn't make it past the preliminaries last year as she finished 21st in the preliminaries. Her first dive. So a solid first dive by Larissa Grammer. Ninth of 22 divers we'll have. Going to the judges' scores. Five and a half, five and a half, six and a half, six, six, six and a half, and six and a half. Again, that was Larissa Grammer of Montrose. Up next, another a diver making her state debut, the freshman from Mullen, Katie Russ, with her first dive. Good elevation there on that dive from Katie Russ in her first dive at the state preliminary. See what the judges have to think about it. Kenzie He also making her state debut will be next. Waiting on Judge Five, trying to make up his or her mind here on Katie Russ's first dive. <laughs> Still waiting for Judge Five, apparently. And here we go for Katie Russ, seven and a half, seven, six, six and a half. The judge five, Katie Russ, glad they waited for judge five score because she gave her an eight and a half. The other two scores, seven and six. So eight and a half, the highest score we've seen from any diver so far on any scorecard. Up next will be Kenzie He, a sophomore from Discovery Canyon, another team that's well represented here. So he letting her legs uh, fold down just a little bit. We'll see if the judges uh, mark her down for that. Up next will be Corey Fancher, a junior from Thompson Valley. And the scores for Kenzie He, five and a half, five, 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 six, five and a half, and five and a half. So up next we have Corey Fancher, a junior from Thompson Valley. Was a state qualifier last year, but placed 18th. And only 16 divers were taken to the finals. So Fancher hoping for a better result here this year. Really good looking dive here from Corey Fancher, the junior from Thompson Valley. We will wait the judges. Up next will be Shelby Johnson, a senior from Air Academy. For Corey Fancher, judges cards, seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, eight, 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 and seven. One of the better dives we've had so far. Up next will be a senior from Air Academy, Shelby Johnson, with her first dive going on the near board. Pretty good looking dive from one of our seniors competing in this event. Johnson was a, a state qualifier last year but did not make it out of the preliminary. She finished 23rd. I think that dive, at least to start her off, will put her in a much better position to try and make the finals later today. The scores 
a little bit low. Six, six, six and a half, four, six, six and a half, and six and a half. Obviously, I will defer judgment to the men and women in the striped shirts. And Johnson's got to be a little bit disappointed with the lower scores. Up next will be Kimmy Tanabe, a state finalist last year. She finished 16th out of the 16 divers in the finals, a senior from Manitou Springs. Tanabe not quite getting the vertical line that you like to see on a diver. So we'll see what the judges think of Tanabe's first dive, one of our state returning state finalists. Five and a half, six, seven, five, six and a half, seven, and five and a half. Not too bad for Kimmy Tanabe, the senior from Manitou Springs. She'll be right in the thick of things after one dive. Up next will be another senior, this time from Cheyenne Mountain, Kathleen Hale with her first dive. Hale was not here last year at the 4A State Diving Championships. A few somersaults there. See what the judges think of Kathleen Hale's first dive. Up next will be a freshman from Mo Mullen, Alex Hafey. Apparently Mullen building a very solid diving team with a couple of freshmen here making their state debuts. The scores for Kathleen Hale, six, five and a half, five, five, five and a half, five and a half, and five and a half. So up next will be Alex Haffey, as the aforementioned freshman from Mullen on the second board here, her first dive. This is our 16th of 22 divers here in the first round of dives. And gets a one of the bigger ovations of any diver so far. See what the judges think of Alex's first dive. Up next will be Abby Watson, a sophomore from Mountain View. Waiting on Judge Three's decision. Seven and a half, seven and a half, six and a half, six and a half, eight and a half, seven and a half, and seven and a half. The judges scores for Alex Hafey, the freshman from Mullen. Up next will be another state finalist from last year, Abby Watson. As a freshman, she placed 11th. Here is her first dive in this year's preliminary round of dives. Nice form there for Abby Watson. While we're waiting on the judges, we get into our top three places from last year. Aaron Shavitt from Thompson Valley will be next. Of course, the top three divers from last year's finals will be in this field. Scores for Abby Watson of Mountain View. Seven, seven and a half, seven, eight, six and a half, seven, and seven and a half. So good first dive. For Abby Watson, up next will be last year's third place finisher, Erin Shavit, a junior from Thompson Valley, her first dive. So there's the second runner up from last year's state swimming final, Erin Shavit. See what the judges think of her. Up next will be Virginia Veltri from Pueblo Central. We've had we had quite a few Pueblo schools represented yesterday, but no Pueblo Central until now. Virginia Veltri, we will see in just a moment. The scores for Aaron Shavit, five, six, seven and a half, five, six, six, and six. Round out the scores for Aaron Shavit. Veltri did not make the state diving preliminaries last year, so make, hoping to make an impact here on her first dive. So good uh, debut for a 
Pueblo Central Wildcat here as Virginia Veltri makes her first dive. Your defending state champion Alexa Beckwith will be next. We're getting down to the last few divers in the first round of this preliminary diving event. Shavik gets five, five, five and a half, five, six, six and six for Virginia Veltri of Pueblo Central. Now your defending state champion, Alexa Beckwith, from a sophomore from St. Mary's. Again, your defending state champion. See what she has in store for her first dive. And a dive that looks like it would come from a defending state champion for Alexa Beckwith while we're waiting for her scores. Ariel Mosier from Niwot will be next. Mosier, a state finalist last year, finished 13th as a junior. Eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, eight and eight, I believe that will put your defending state champion, Alexa Beckwith, at the top of the leaderboard. Now our 21st of 22 divers, Ariel Mosier from Niwa, as I mentioned, placed 13th last year at state as a junior, now looking to cap off her career possibly with the state championship here in Thornton. Good dive from Mosier. Our final diver after we get the scores from Ariel Mosier will be Maya Presti from Fountain Valley. She was last year's runner up. Quick note before the scores on Presti. This year she broke Fountain Valley school record in both a six dive score and an 11 dive score in the same week. And she's had one of the best scores in the state of Colorado. That's why she is diving last in our first round of dives. Waiting for the third judge's score for Ariel Mosier, the senior from Niwot. And here they are, seven, seven and a half, eight, seven, eight, six and a half, and seven. So our final dive of the first round will be for Maya Presti, a junior from Fountain Valley, last year's runner-up. She got a final, a uh, preliminary score of 285.25 last year. Looking obviously to eclipse that here in her junior year. Good form there by Maya Presti to round out the first round of dives. It's a big ovation as she comes to the surface. See if the judges feel the same about Presti's first dive. We'll go back to the top for Rowan Dunn, the sophomore from Conifer's second dive. After we get Maya Presti's scores from her first dive. Judge number two, trying to figure out what they thought about Maya Presti's first dive. Apparently the hold up for the judges' scores is a technological one. Uh, the scores for Maya Presti in her first dive, seven and a half, seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, seven and a half, eight, and six and a half. So it would appear that Alexa Beckwith is your leader after the first round of dives. We go back to the top with Rowan Dunn, the sophomore from Conifer, her second dive.
So Dunn definitely stepping up the difficulty there with a couple of somersaults thrown in. See what the judges think of the sophomore from Conifer's second dive. Seven, seven, seven and a half, six and a half, six, seven and a half, and seven and a half. Pretty solid scores for the sophomore from Conifer. Up next will be Haley Schneider from Longmont. She is also stepping up the difficulty on the four, far board. She has a difficulty of 2.3 on this dive. Very nice looking dive. Didn't get quite as vertical as I'm sure she would have liked towards the end, but still very good dive. See what the judges have to think of Haley Schneider's second dive. Six and a half, five and a half, seven, five, five and a half, five and a half, and six. Next will be Emma Plentel, a sophomore from Discovery Canyon, her second dive. And this the 4A state diving preliminaries here on chassa.tv. Pretty nice dive there by Emma Plentel. She's going to get some pretty nice scores out of her third dive. Seven and a half, six, six, seven and a half, six and a half, seven and seven for Emma Plentel in her second dive. Up next will be Alyssa Mahali, a senior from Thompson Valley on the near board, her second dive. So there's Alyssa Mahali, the senior from Thompson Valley with her second dive. Coming up next will be Michaela Eckhart from Windsor after we get the scores for Mahali. Here's the scores for Mahali. Five, five and a half, four and a half, five, five, six, and six. So now will be Michaela Eckhart, the senior from Windsor, the wizard on the far board, her second dive. Bryn Frauenhoff, the freshman from De Evelyn, will be next. De Evelyn, another school with a very good day yesterday. Their relay team did very well last night. In the 400, they placed third. They had another relay team that finished in third, and that was uh, in the 200 freestyle relay. Let's see what they think of the dives here for Michaela Eckhart. Six and a half, six, 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 five, five and a half, and five and a half. Up next, we'll, as I mentioned, the freshman from De Evelyn. Teammates did well in the relays yesterday. See how she does on her second dive. Up next will be Kelly Rather, the senior from Coronado, after we get the scores for Frauenhoff. Five, five, five and a half, four and a half, five and a half, four and a half, and five and a half. Kelly Rather, senior from Coronado, her second dive here in the 4A state diving preliminaries. Let's 
See what the judges think of Rather's second dive. Up next will be Kaylee Valer, a junior from Discovery Canyon, who, as I mentioned, placed 12th last year in the state diving championships. Here are the scores for Kelly Rather. 6-4, 5.5, 5, 6-4, and 6. A couple of 4s going to definitely bring down the score of Rather. Up next, Katie Valera, as I mentioned, junior from Discovery Canyon, a state finalist last year, her second dive. Blair waiting to see what the judges think of her second dive. Up next will be Larissa Grammer from Montrose. But again, waiting on the results for Katie Valer's second dive. Six, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, five and a half, six and six. Solid scores for Katie Valer on her second dive. Up next, Larissa Grammer of Montrose, her second dive. And very difficult for these divers when they do the somersaults to get vertical right before they hit the water. And that's going to be the thing that's going to keep Grammar's score relatively down as we're waiting on judge number two to punch in their scores for the second dive for Larissa Grammer. Four, 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 five and a half, three and a half, and four and a half there for Larissa Grammer on her second dive. Up next will be one of the fabulous freshmen from Mullen, Katie Russ, her second dive. Pretty good. Looking dive there. The, again, if you're new to the sport, you can go feet first. I know you, a lot of times at the Olympic level, which is what many fans see as their only diving event of uh, the year or every four years as it is, uh, you can go feet first. Obviously, the judges will take a little bit off, but it's still a perfectly acceptable dive, as is illustrated with these scores. Seven, six, seven and a half, six and a half. Six, eight and a half, or eight, excuse me, and six and a half. So again, seven, six, seven and a half, six and a half, six, eight, and six and a half there for Katie Russ on her second dive. Up next, Kenzie He, the sophomore from Discovery Canyon. Living on the edge there was Kenzie He. Pretty good dive. Didn't jump out very far. Still able to execute her dive pretty well. See what the judges say. The judges agree. A solid dive. Four sixes, a six and a half, another six, and a seven. These scores for Kenzie He. Up next, the junior from Thompson Valley, Corey Fancher. Her second dive in the prelims.
Fancher must much like uh, he opting to dive very close to the board. See if the judges think that Fancher was as good, if not better, than Kenzie He in that regard. Up next will be Shelby Johnson, who impressed her first dive. The senior from Air Academy, but not before we get Corey Fancher's score. Five and a half, five and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, and six. The scores for Corey Fancher. Shelby Johnson, as I mentioned, very good first dive. The senior from Air Academy, second dive of the 4A State Diving Preliminaries. Good dive there, opting after the s multiple somersaults to go in feet first. See what the judges think of Johnson's second dive. Four and a half, five, four and a half, five, five, four and a half, four, and six. Those are the scores for Shelby Johnson. Up next will be Kimmy Tanabe, a state finalist from last year, the senior from Manitou Springs second dive of the competition. Good elevation and good form there for Tanabe, the senior from Manitou Springs. We'll wait for the judges' scores, as we all will. Up next will be Kathleen Hale, the senior from Cheyenne Mountain. Scores for Tanabe, six, six and a half, five and a half, six and a half, six, six and a half, seven and seven. In these competitions, sometimes it pays dividends to just keep it simple. Go with the dives that you have executed time and time again and pull out the big guns at the finals. And I think that's what Tanabe's doing. She's been here before, gone through the prelim prelims and finals, got a very good score. There was Kathleen Hale, the senior from Cheyenne Mountain, second dive. We'll see what the judges think of that. Waiting to get on the board will be another freshman from Mullen, Alex Hafey. Four, five and a half, five, five, five and a half, five and a half, and six and a half for Kathleen Hale, the senior from Cheyenne Mountain. Up next, Alex Hafey, freshman from Mullen, her second dive. Will take place on the second board here. Good looking dive there. These freshmen from Mullen. We might see them both in the finals later today. See what the judges think of Hafey's second dive. Six, 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 five and a half, six and a half, six and a half, and six and a half. Solid dive there for Alex Hafey. Keeps her right in the thick of things. Up next will be Abby Watson, the sophomore from Mountain View. Diving on the near board. Good looking dive there for Abby Watson, the sophomore from Mountain View. Gets a good round of applause. Judges think it was a solid dive. Five and a half, six and a half, five and a half, six, five, six, and six. The scores for a Abby Watson up next. Aaron Shavitt, the junior from Thompson Valley, the second runner up from last year. Her second dive. There's Chavez's second dive, the second runner-up from last year, as I mentioned, out of Thompson Valley. Her 
first scores, five and a half, three and a half, four, four, four and a half, four and a half, and five. So I'm sure Chauvet won't be terribly pleased with the results, but she still has more dives to go. She had a very good one to begin. Virginia Veltri from Pueblo Central will be next. She again on the far board representing the Pueblo Central Wildcats. Second time that she's elected to take the uh, running start, if you will, for her dive. So see what the judges think of Veltri. Up next will be our defending state champion and leader after the first round of dives, Alexa Be Beckwith out of St. Mary's. But first, the scores for, Vir for Virginia Veltri, easy for me to say, out of Pueblo Central. Decent crowd on hand, by the way. Obviously not as many athletes represented as were in the swimming preliminaries, but still a good crowd on hand that's uh, braved the elements. Come here to Thornton. The scores for Veltri, four, five, 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 five and a half, four and a half, and five. Solid dive for Veltri. Second time around up next, your state champion, Alexa Beckwith. Good second dive for the sophomore. The lone representative from the St. Mary's Pirates. Scores for Beckwith, seven, six and a half, four and a half, seven, six, seven, and seven. Up next will be Ariel Mosier, the senior from Niwot, just up the road here. The senior with her second dive. Very good dive, very good dive for Ariel Mosier, the senior from Niwot. Up next will be Maya Presti with her second dive, but first the score for Mosier, six and a half, seven and a half, six, six, seven, six and six. Our last diver of the second round will be Maya Presti, the junior from Fountain Valley, last year's runner-up. Pretty good form there by Maya Presti. See what the judges think of her second dive. Fans certainly liked it. Judges think it's a solid dive, awarding scores of five and a half, six, 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 seven, six and a half, and six and a half. So that does it for the second round of dives. Rowan Dunn back to the top here, sophomore from Conifer, her third dive and the 4A state diving preliminaries here in Thornton. So Dunn's second dive here. Haley Schneider from Longmont will be next. Scores for Dunn, six, five and a half, five and a half, four, five, five, and five and a half. One point seven here for Haley Schneider out of Longmont. Our next diver will be on the far board. 
And a pretty well executed dive for Haley Schneider. Seven, seven, seven and a half, six and a half, seven, six and six and a half. point two difficulty for Emma Plantel, so she's stepping it up here in her third dive. It's a sophomore from Discovery Canyon. She's going feet first on that dive. Gets a good round of applause as she comes back to the surface. We'll wait the judges' scores as Alyssa Mahali, the senior from Thompson Valley, will be on deck. Here are the scores for Plentil, six, five, six, five, five and a half, five and a half, and six. The third dive for Emma Plentil. Now will be Alyssa Mahali, senior from Thompson Valley on the near board. Her third dive. Dive there for Mahali, her third time around. Michaela Eckhart from Windsor will be next. Scores here for Mahali, six and a half, seven, seven, five and a half, five and a half, seven, and seven. Michaela Eckhart up next, senior from Windsor. On the far board here, her third dive. Well executed dive there for Eckhart. We go from a senior from Windsor to a freshman from Dievelin. Bryn Frauenhoff is next, but not before we get the scores for Michaela Eckhart. Eight, seven and a half, nine, eight, eight and a half, eight and a half, seven and a half. Again, I bring back up the point. Sometimes it's good to keep it simple. Wait, good way to maximize your score, and that's exactly what Eckhart did on her third dive. Now Bryn Frauenhoff from D. Evelyn also on the far board with her third dive. Look good on the somersaults. Again, not her legs kind of coming down a little bit, not quite as vertical. See what the judges have to say for Frauenhoff's third dive. Five, five and a half, five, five, five and a half, five and a half, and five. These scores for Bryn Frauenhoff. Up next, Kelly Rather, senior from Coronado. Point three here for Kelly Rather's third dive. Also stepping up the difficulty. Haven't seen a lot of twists out of these divers, but Rather looking to set herself apart, throws in some twists, and the judges think it's a pretty solid dive. Five, six and a half, five and a half, five, six, five and a half, and five and a half. Up next, Katie Valaire, junior from Discovery Canyon. Our eighth diver in the third round. Nice job by Katie Valaire on her third dive. The junior from Discovery Canyon waiting the scores. Five, seven, five and a half, six, six and a half, six and a half, and six. Judges didn't take long to render their decisions on Katie Valaire and the 
Scores are pretty positive as we move now to our ninth diver in the third round, Larissa Grammer from Montrose. Next for the diving will be Katie Russ, the freshman from Mullen, but not before the scores for Grammar. Six, five and a half, six, five, six, four, and six and a half. Sneaking that four in there was judge number six. Again, the freshman from Mullen, Katie Russ. Good form there by Katie Russ. And I think one of the top storylines is we're about midway through the midway point of this uh, diving preliminaries. Is the one of the bigger storylines has been the two freshmen from Mullen. They've looked really good, and these scores continue that trend. Seven, six, six and a half, five and a half, six, six, and seven for Katie Russ. Now Kenzie He, the sophomore from Discovery Canyon on the second board, her third dive. Let's see what the judges think of Kenzie He's third dive. Corey Fancher from Thompson Valley getting ready for her third dive. Scores for Kenzie He, four and a half, four, four, three and a half, four, five, and five. One point six here for Corey Fancher, the junior from Thompson Valley in her third dive. Feet flew out a little bit there at the end for Corey Fancher. We'll see how how it affects her score on her third dive. Up next will be Shelby Johnson. Four, three and a half, four, four and a half, three and a half, four and a half, and four and a half for Corey Fancher on her third dive. Up next, the senior from Air Academy, Shelby Johnson, be on the near board her third dive. Johnson going with the twist and going in feet first. See what the judges think of that as Kimmy Tanabe, the senior from Manitou Springs, gets ready for her third dive. Judges scores five and a half, six, five and a half, six and a half, five. Five and six. So again, Tanabe up next, the senior from Manitou Springs. Nice dive there by Tanabe. As you can tell, the state finalists now, after the first couple of dives, are starting to up the ante a little bit. Five, six, five and a half, six, five and a half, five and a half, and five and a half there for Kimmy Tanabe. Up next, Kathleen Hale, the senior from Cheyenne Mountain.
First time we've gotten some ooze from the crowd is Hale very close to the board, but they're amateurs, but they are professionals at their craft. Seven, seven and a half, six, seven, six and a half, seven and a half, and an eight there for uh, the senior from Cheyenne Mountain, Kathleen Hale. Up next will be the other freshman from Mullen. It will be Alex Hafey, her second, her third dive, excuse me. Another good dive. See what the judges think of the Mullen freshmen. Third dive, seven, six and a half, five and a half, six, five and a half, six and seven. Up next, Abby Watson, the sophomore from Mountain View. Her third dive, diver number 17 of 22 here in the third round of the 4A state diving preliminaries. Good elevation, good form there for Abby Watson on her third dive. Judges agree, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven, seven, six, eight, and seven and a half. Up next, Aaron Chauvet, the second runner up from last year's diving championships, junior from Thompson Valley, going over three in her grade on this dive, her third of the competition. effort there on the third dive for Chauvet. Judges uh, say it's a little below a solid dive. Five, and a five, four and a half, three more fives, a four and a half and a five and a half. Up next, Virginia Veltri from Pueblo Central. First time she's going to stand at the end of the board for this, her third dive of the competition. And a beautiful looking dive there for Virginia Veltri. The fans like it. See if the judges like it. Defending state champion Beckwith up next. Scores for Veltri, seven and a half, seven, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven, seven and a half, and eight. Next, your defending state champion, Alexa Beckwith, her third dive. And a nice looking one as we get towards the end of the third round of dive. See what the judges think of the Pirate sophomore's third dive. Six and a half, six and a half, six, six and a half, five and a half, seven and six and a half. Solid scores for Alexa Beckwith as we move now to Ariel Mosier, the senior from Niwot, her third dive. 1.6. Difficulty on this dive for Ariel Mosier. See what the judges think of Mosier's third dive. Up next will be Maya Presti, last year's runner up. But not before these scores for Mosier. Six, seven, six and a half, six, 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 and six and a half. So here's our last diver of the third round. Maya Presti on the near board going 3.3 on this dive. The three top three finishers from last year all stepping up the difficulty on their third dives. Presti no different, last year's runner-up, her third dive to finish out the third round of dives. Couple of twists in there, going in feet first, see what the judges think of Maya Presti. Having seen Maya 
quite a few times this season. That's what she likes to do. She likes to turn around, be at the end of the board. Doesn't really take a running start to any of her dives. And it served her well this season. Seven, six and a half, five and a half, six and a half, five and a half, six and a half, and seven. Solid scores for Maya Pressy to end the third round of dives. Now round four, Rowan Dunn from Conifer, her fourth dive. Dunn's four, fourth of six dives. Scores for Dunn, five, six, five and a half, five and a half, six, six, and seven. Up next, Haley Schneider of Longmont. 1.7 difficulty here on this dive from the Longmont Trojans. A good looking dive there off the far board. See what the judges think of it as we're just underway in round four of six in the 4A state diving preliminaries here in Thornton. Scores for Schneider, six and a half, seven, six and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, six and a half, and seven. Up next, Emma Plentel, our third diver of the fourth round, the sophomore from Discovery Canyon. 2.2 difficulty on this, her fourth dive of the competition. Pretty good dive there. Qu didn't quite get the extension with the legs. I'm sure she was hoping for at the end of that dive, but we'll see what the judges think of Plantles. Five, five and a half, three more fives, a five and a half, and a five. So pretty consistent scores all the way around there for Emma Plantle in her fourth dive. Up next will be Alyssa Mahali, the senior from Thompson Valley. And the mirror board, her fourth dive. Tough finish there for Mahali at the end of that dive. Going almost horizontal on that. Judges obviously didn't miss that. Two, three and a half, three and a half, three, three and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. There for Alyssa Mahali on her fourth dive. Up next, Michaela Eckhart, the senior from Windsor. Nice dive there, good extension at the end after the couple of somersaults. See what the judges think. Eight and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, six and a half. Up next, Bryn Fraunhoff from Dievelin, the freshman. of three freshmen in the diving competition this year. Freshman there didn't quite get as vertical as she would have liked. Judges still give her some solid scores. Five, four, four, three and a half, four, three and a half, and four. Not what Frauenhoff was looking for in her fourth dive. Up next, Kelly Rather, the senior from Coronado. Walking to the end of the board here for her fourth dive. After a couple of tricky dives by Rather, she simplifies it a little bit, and the judges reward her. Six and a half, eight, seven, seven, seven and a half, eight, and five and a half. Judges one and seven, not quite as, not giving out quite as solid of scores, but still overall a very good dive. 
Or Kelly, rather, up next. Katie Valaire, the junior from Discovery Canyon, on the middle board here, her fourth dive. Blair going in feet first. Larissa Grammer getting her board ready as the scores are awarded. Four and a half, five and a half, five and a half, five, four and a half, five and a half, and five and a half. Score there for Katie Valaire. Up next, as I mentioned, Larissa Grammer from Montrose. 2.1 here. Pretty good dive there. Again, not quite the extension at the end, but that's a pretty difficult dive that Grammer just attempted. Hopefully the judges reward her. Ugh, not quite. Three and a half, five, five, four and a half, four and a half, two and a half, and four. So much in diving is about how you finish the dive. And obviously the judges didn't think that Grammer Grammar finished it quite the way she should have as now we'll go to Katie Russ, the freshman from Mullen. Good dive there for Russ, gets a good ovation. Scores for her, four and a half, four, five and a half, five, five, four, and six. Kenzie He up next, the sophomore from Discovery Canyon. Going feet first on that dive for her fourth. See what the judges think of it as Corey Fancher gets ready for her fourth dive. Scores for He, four, five, four and a half, four and a half, five and a half, four and a half, and five. Corey Fancher, the junior from Thompson Valley, up next. She'll be on the near board for her fourth dive. Again, going six dives here in the preliminary round. Another diver going in feet first. We'll see what they... Judges think of Corey Fancher, five and a half, six, six, five and a half, five, six and a half, and five and a half. So up next, the senior from Air Academy, Shelby Johnson, Kimmy Tanabe of Mount, uh, Manitou Springs will be next. Few twists going in there from the Air Academy cadet Shelby Johnson. Scores five, five and a half, four and a half, six, five, four and a half, and five and a half. Up next, Kimmy Tanabe of Manitou Springs. Kathleen Hale of Cheyenne Mountain will be next. 2.2 here on Tanabe's fourth dive. Tight somersaults there going in feet first. And the score is awarding five and a half, six, six and a half, five and a half, five and a half, six and a half, and six and a half to Kimmy Tanabe, the senior from Manitou Springs. Up next, Kathleen Hale, the senior from Cheyenne Mountain, will be on the near board. Up next, after Hale, will be Alex Hafey.
little bit tense there on Hale's fourth dive, but got in the pool okay. See what the judges think of it. Six, five and a half, five and a half, five, five and a half, five and a half, and six. Alex Haffey up next, the freshman from Mullen. Haffey not quite as vertical on that. See what the judges think of her dive overall. Two, 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 two. I'll save you the trouble. Straight twos there for Haffey and her fourth dive. Abby Watson up next, the sophomore from Mountain View on the near side. Watson a little bit more horizontal than she would have liked, going in feet first. So just give out four and a half, five, five and a half, five, five and a half, five and a half, and five and a half to Abby Watson up next. Aaron Chavez, last year's second runner-up, the junior from Thompson Valley, will be up next on the middle board. Good elevation for Chavez after not quite as good of a score as she would have liked on the last dive. We'll see what the judges give her on her fourth. Much better. Six and a half, seven and a half, eight, seven, eight, seven and a half, and seven. So up next will be Virginia Veltri from Pueblo Central. Has impressed with her dives so far. She's got to be near the top of the leaderboard so far. See what she has in store for her fourth dive. So Veltri, her fourth dive. See what the judges think of it as Alexa Beckwith gets ready. Five and a half, five, four and a half, five, five and a half, five, and five and a half for Virginia Veltri from Pueblo Central. Again, your state champion, Alexa Beckwith, up next. 1.7. So Beckwith, after stepping up the grade, has gone down just a little bit. She makes it look really good. Going to have some good scores coming up here in a minute for your defending state champion. Seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine, eight and eight. So there's Alexa Beckwith, fourth dive. Up next, Ariel Mosier, the senior from Niwot, second to last diver in the fourth round. Good dive there for Mosier. Judges award six and a half, six, six and a half, six. Six and a half, six, six and a half, six, six, five and a half, and six and a half. So now we come to Maya Presti, our last diver of the fourth round, the junior from Fountain Valley. Presti taking the walking start and very well executed on the dive. See what the judges think of it. Got a nice round of applause. I can see quite a few fans down below us wearing Dane's shirts. 
and they're going to be happy about the scores for Maya Presti. Seven, seven, six and a half, six, six, seven and a half, and six and a half. As we now go to round five, back to the top with Rowan Dunn of Conifer. Done with maybe her best dive yet to start round number five. See what the judges think of it. Six, six, six and a half, six and a half, five and a half, six, six, and six. Up next, Haley Schneider of Longmont. So there's Schneider's second dive. Emma Plintel will be next. Let's see what the judges thought of Schneider's fifth dive. Five and a half, four and a half, five and a half, five, five, five and a half, and five and a half. For Plintel, that attempts her fifth dive. I want to let you know that the swimming and diving championships will begin at 2 o'clock Mountain Time here on Chassa.tv. So Plentil's fifth dive gets a good round of applause from the crowd. And it gets solid scores from the judges. Six, six, six and a half, five and a half, six, five and a half, and five. Up uh, next, Alyssa Mahali, the senior from Thompson Valley on the near board. 1.9 on the grade. Couple of twists going in feet first. Pretty good for Alyssa Mahali. See what the judges think of it. Five and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, five and a half, six and a half, and five. Up next, Michaela Eckhart, senior of Windsor. Two point three here on the fifth dive. Eckhart going in feet first. Up next will be Bryn Frauenhoff, but we will await the judges' results for Michaela Eckhart. Six, five and a half, five and a half, five and a half, five and a half, six, and finally a five. There's Fraunhoff's fifth dive. Up next will be Kelly Rather of Coronado. Let's see what the judges thought of Fraunhoff. Five and a half, six, six and a half, six, five and a half, five and a half, and five. Now up Kelly Rather, senior of Coronado, our seventh diver in the fifth round of dives here in the preliminaries. Rather gets a five and a half, a six, another five and a half, another six, a five, another six, and another five and a half. Up next, Katie Valaire, the junior from Discovery Canyon on the middle board, her fifth dive.
exactly what the judges thought of Katie Valer's fifth dive. Four, four, five, four, five, five, and five. Up next, Larissa Grammer from Montrose, diver number nine in the fifth round. Quite a few somersaults in there. See what the judges think of grammar. Five and a half, four and a half, four and a half, six, five, five, and five. Up next will be Katie Russ, one of the two freshmen from Mullen. A lot of good looking twists, but didn't finish how she wanted to. Let's see what the judges thought of the dive. Five and a half, five, 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 four and a half, and five and a half. So the dive for Kenzie He on her fifth dive, four, 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 four and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. Up next will be Corey Fancher, the junior from Thompson Valley, her fifth dive. See what the judges thought of Corey Fancher's fifth dive. We're more than halfway through our fifth round of dives. Five, four and a half, five and a half, four, four and a half, four and a half, and four and a half there for Corey Fancher. Our 13th diver of the fifth round, Shelby Johnson, the senior from Air Academy. Up next will be Kimmy Tanabe of Manitou Springs. See what the judges thought of Shelby Johnson. Five, six, six and a half, seven, six, seven, and six. One of the better dives for Shelby Johnson and one of the better dives in the fifth round. Up next, Kimmy Tanabe, the senior from Manitou Springs. Up next will be Kathleen Hale from Cheyenne Mountain after Tanabe's fifth dive. A lot of twists in there. See if the judges reward Tanabe for a tougher dive. They do. Six, six, five, five and a half, five, five and a half, and five and a half for Kimmy Tanabe. Up next, Kathleen Hale, the senior from Cheyenne Mountain. On deck will be Abby Watson of Mountain View. It's a good response from the crowd. Let's see what the judges say. 
They like, <coughs> excuse me, they like it too. Six and a half, six and a half, six, five and a half, five and a half, six, and five and a half. Alex Hafey up next, the freshman from Mullen, her fifth dive. Diver 16 of 22. Another good dive from one of the two Mullen freshmen in this field. Five and a half, seven, seven and a half, five, six, five, and four and a half. One of the more wide array of scores that we've seen it for one diver. Scores ranging from four and a half to seven and a half for Hafey on her second or her fifth dive, second to last dive, I should say. Abby Watson, the sophomore from Mountain View, is next. Aaron Chauvet will be on deck. Let's see what the judges thought of Watson's fifth dive. Five, three and a half, three and a half, four and a half, two and a half, four and a half, and four and a half there for Abby Watson on her fifth dive. We move now to our second runner up from last year, Aaron Chauvet, the junior from Thompson Valley. On deck will be Virginia Veltri of Pueblo Central. One of Chauvet's better dives. In fact, it could be her best. Let's see what the judges have to say. Six, six and a half, seven and a half, six, seven, six and five and a half. Therefore, Aaron Chauvet up next. Virginia Veltri of Pueblo Central. There's Veltri's fifth dive. Three and a half, three and a half, three, three and a half, four, three and a half, and three and a half. The lowest score for Veltri in any of her five dives so far. Up next, Alexa Beckwith, the defending state champion, her fifth dive. Another good one from Beckwith. Judges scores seven and a half, seven, eight, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, and six and a half. Up next, Ariel Mosier from Niwot on the far board, her fifth dive, second to last diver in the fifth round. So there's Mosier's fifth dive. Maya Presti will be next to finish out the round, but here Mosier scores six, six and a half, six, five, five and a half, six and a half, and six and a half. So here's Presti's fifth dive. Presti taking her time on the board and look 
like a pretty good dive. Let's see what the judges think of the Fountain Valley Danes fifth dive of the morning. Judge is still deliberating. And now a couple of officials are talking to each other. Judges scores four, six, 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 or excuse me, four, six, six, five, five and a half, five, and six and a half. So that will do it. We'll have five apparently five dives instead of six. So that does it here in the preliminary rounds. So we'll uh, hang on here to see if we can get the official results before we go off air. Again, we'll come back on at 2 o'clock Mountain Time for the swimming and diving finals. Pretty star-studded field here, including the top three finishers from last year's state finals. Alexa Beckwith would appear to be your leader after the preliminary round. Aaron Chavez and Maya Presti both up there with her. We saw a couple of very good freshmen for Mullen in Katie Russ and Alex Haffey. See if both of those divers are in. Virginia Veltri, a name that did not show up at state last year caught some people's eye with her a few of her dives Again, this field of 22 will be whittled down and then the remaining finalists will take part in the diving finals later today again they'll start at two o'clock and uh, you can also catch the 5a state uh, diving and swimming championships here on Chassa TV later this afternoon as well. We're going to step aside for a few hours. We'll uh, come back shortly before 2 o'clock. We'll give you the complete results from the diving preliminaries and get you ready for the state championships. It's going to be a fun night tonight, so make sure you tune in again starting at 2 o'clock Mountain Time. For now, um, I'm Ryan Kaufman along with our graphics producer Kevin Schaefer and our camera person Jacob. We will see you at 2 o'clock Mountain Time here on Chassa.tv.